In this video, we'll look at whether chromium-3 nitrate is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. That's CrNO3-3. To do that, we have to look at the neutralization reaction that produced the chromium-3 nitrate. So we have nitric acid plus chromium-3 hydroxide. That gives us our salt, the chromium-3 nitrate, in water. It's a neutralization reaction. Once we have the reaction, we need to look at the strength of the acid and the base so we can use these rules. So this is a good table to memorize. We're looking at the table here and we have nitric acid right here. That's a strong acid, like SA up there. Chromium-3 hydroxide, we know it's a base because we have the hydroxide group bonded to the metal, but it's not on our list of strong bases. So this is gonna be a weak base. So now we know the strength of the acid and the base that form this neutralization reaction to make our chromium-3 nitrate. Let's use the rules to figure out whether this CrNO3-3 is acetic, basic, or neutral. Looking at the rules, we're trying to find a strong acid and a weak base. Here's a strong acid and a weak base. And when we have these react neutralized to form the salt and water, we expect the pH to be less than 7, so it'll be acetic. In answer to our question, whether CrNO3-3 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, we can say that it will be an acetic solution and the pH will be less than 7. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.